What's up guys, we're here today in Sugar Grove, Illinois. We are at Ed the Pond Professor's house. The waterfall starts right there. Blake, what's up man? Believe it or not, this is a goat pond build, so. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna change their lives. I love my job. Let's get started on this pond build. You're really gonna let him drive us? Well, we'll see what happens. What, what do I do? <laughs> ah! All right, guys, so I'm here at O'Hare Airport picking up Blake from Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. There he is. What's up, buddy? Uh, Welcome to the Chicago. Left a nice sunny area. It's cold. This is what we have to deal with here in the shy. <laughs> I got the donuts, George. <laughs> you look like you can barely carry it. What's up, Joe? We are out here in the middle of nowhere. Look at all this land. Blake's thinking of all the animals he can put out there. So uh, we've made it to the farm. Greg, where are we right now? We are at Blue Sky Farms, Ed the Pond Professor's house. After six years of renovating an 1850s home, he's finally gonna be living the aquascape lifestyle himself. Today we're building a pond for his goats. We got Joe the fish guy. Hi guys. How's it going? It's doing good, but what is this Florida boy doing? What's up? All right guys, we're gonna transition when the pond is done. See you guys then. No, we're not transitioning yeah. yet. So we're starting the pond build now. Blake, what's up man? What? Welcome to Illinois. This is uh, not exactly my neck of Chicago. We're out here, way out here in the western in suburbs. The but this is this is what your lifestyle is like. Yeah, out here in the mo nowhere land. I love it. You like being outdoors. You, I do. He's the animal guy. Let's go check out some of the animals. Check it out. Blake, you have goats, right? I got goats. How many goats do you have? I have 12. All right, we're here with Blake. Uh, What's going he's on? the animal expert. So he's going to be teaching us a little bit about some of these goats and animals. I'm Irish Irish. I came in like a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm seeing is like just a barn full of MJs right here. So those are all, the well, majority of all these are Nigerians and then these are Nubian. There's different types. I'm gonna type. Which of these are male and which of these are female? The only male we have is right here. You know that goats can pee on their own beards. This is one of our goats. His name's Dasher. This is the only boy we have. He's a weather. Oh! The <laughs> goat party over here. That's typical of a miniature horse. Go! The finish guy! I love it! Hey, this beats school online, doesn't it, buddy? Yeah. This is real school. You learn with your hands. You gotta be street smart. Street smart versus book smart. I love yep. it. I love my job. <laughs> I've dealt with chickens before. My cousins have a lot of them. We're gonna wrangle up some dinner, some KFC. Get your back here, boy! I don't think they do that with these chickens. Eh, let's see. There they are. Hi, chickens. Hi, babies. Dude, don't, you don't want to go in there. I do though, I really want to catch them all. Bark, 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 bark. KFC. What's going on here? All types of stuff happening. We have a hobbit house down below, I'll take you inside of that. We're gonna have a waterfall falling off of the roof into a long meandering stream with a little bit of a soaking pool that's gonna be at the other end. Dogs, the uh, animals, for the goats, for everything. Climb over the top of this to create a really cool interactive space. Are you gonna ask Brian if you can ride it? Can you imagine that? Just, oh, can you imagine know. if it just like did that? <laughs> Got he! Can I drive that now? Uh, yeah. Well, Brian, you're really gonna let him drive us? Well, we'll see what happens. What, what do I do? Okay, and then swing it over there. What's this do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. You're gonna push this down. Now watch. I can take both you guys out right now. Let her rip, Joe. Run. <laughs> what would you do if you had this much land, Blake? Do a lot of cool things out here. All types of exotic animals. What's your favorite animal? I don't really have a favorite. I like a lot of animals. Blake, what do you say? You and I, we get a place like this, right. 20 acres, just you and me. All this land, we breed clownfish. <laughs> clownfish? Let's do it. We start with that pond? That whole thing right there, we'll just breed clownfish. We could be like the hype farm. If you guys want to see the hype farm, like this video. Guys, Leave Donate a comment. Donate a dollar to feed a starving child. So Ed's wife was here earlier and she told me that this brown one right here, the little fat chubby one, gave birth to the all white one right there with the blue eyes. Is this an albino? It almost looks like an albino, but she said it's something else, but in like the turtle game, because I do turtles, that'd be called a leucistic. That's blue eyes. 
So hold on, the donkey is friends with who? Donkey, those two came together, the rescues. And that one, she rescued and it came pregnant and had this one. All right, so what are these? Get down right now. Now, down. Do you want me to get your father involved with this? I want you to stay in here and think about what you did. Kids, am I right? Ed, you have to introduce us to the team here. Oh, you got it. Lovely wife, Ellen. <laughs> you got Brian, obviously you know Brian already. You got Chris Hansen over there. My oldest son, Austin. <laughs> so we have Charlie Brett back there. We got Blake way over on that side. So wait, how long is this build gonna take? The waterfall and stream, the goal is to have it done by tomorrow afternoon. Still gonna be tons of cleanup, other retaining walls, other work inside of the actual Hobbit house. So what's going on? This is gonna be an interactive water feature, but it's on top of this house. So the waterfall starts right there. Above so there's gonna be a waterfall going over the top, going that way. I'm gonna create a planted bird on top of this roof and there's gonna be goats and the dogs and all the animals and stuff are gonna be climbing on top where people are in, are in here hanging out. How does he come, how do you come up with this stuff? <laughs> so the way this is designed, these are all old cedar telephone poles. As I cut them down to length, they don't only go down into the ground about a foot. Big oak logs holding them up. As I put treated posts going from the base all the way to the center post and then it spreads the weight out between all the other beams. So the more weight you put on top, the stronger and stronger and stronger it gets. This is so much more complicated than I originally this thought. <laughs> Joe, you want to test out the wood? Oh, this is pretty. Tell us what you think of this wood. Well, I mean, it's definitely structurally complete. I mean, it's holding up this great water feature. It's going to be amazing. This is going to change their lives. Yeah. I love my job. All right, Joe, are you ready to start working on this pond build? I don't want to wreck my Jordans even more. Why did you wear Jordans to a pond You're build? You just told me it's a surprise. I thought we are going to have a cup of tea or something. You like a cup of tea? I love my job. Start right there. Waterfall coming over the corner of the roof. Here, this is actually, there's gonna be a window here. You can see in oh. and see out. All right, so what's going on now is they're getting ready to start digging the hole where the pond is gonna go. So that's why you see Ed marking the ground with spray paint. And Brian is starting to just excavate that. The orange like outline that you drew, that's where like the main body of water is going to be? Yes, that's going to be the main pond and then the pumps are going to be at the far end. These holes are getting deeper. So I'm not the best person with my hands. So I'm going to be trying to explain this pond build as it goes to the best of my ability. I'm not an expert. These guys here at Team Aquascape are. So all the water is going to come from the pond. It's going to go down through these, through the blocks themselves. And what this does is it kind of mimics uh, what happens in stream. So what I mean by that, because of all that webbing and everything, water is going to get drawn through and it creates like little turbulence areas. It allows the sedimentation process to occur. There's going to be river rock on top. We'll pre-filter out like leaf debris, pine needles, that type of stuff. Clean water goes through, kind of gets mixed all the way through through, goes over to the pump and there it goes all the way to the top of the biological filter. So you're filling this whole section out with the aqua block things? Yes. So this is all filtration, like this Correct. whole thing is going to be covered in this? Correct. So this is like a sump system that you would have on, on an aquarium. Joe, that's the end of day one. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I mean, how much we've got done. Yeah, we actually made a lot of progress in just one day. So this is the end of day one. I cannot wait for day two when we're putting the liner in and everything. Take this, sweetie. $16.91. Yeah, sorry, he's only like 13, so he's still learning math. Oh, I don't know. That's why I'm not passing eighth grade. Oh, no. Keep the chain, sweetie. Yo, Culver's, please sponsor us because otherwise we're, we have no future. Here you go, sweetie. Thank you, sweetie. Joe, out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Day two, we got Joe and we got Blake. What's up? Ladies? <laughs> We are now prepared for day two of the job. Whoa, you guys made a ton of progress. You got the liner down. That looks so cool. That's going to be great. So that'll act as a great pre-filter. It's going to help with not only pre-filtration, but a little bit of biological. It also helps keep the water a little bit cooler because it's actually underground. So it's going to help kind of regulate temperatures, which actually make a huge difference. Wow, and that piece of wood right there. That's, that's sweet. You ready to get after it today, Joe? Yep, I love my job. Chris, you going to let him drive it? Absolutely not. This is what I call Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> we want to learn how to ride a tractor. Okay, ready? See this little coil light? 
Yeah. Once that light goes off, then you can go ahead and start. Officially a cowboy. Done with these folks out here thinking they're country. What's going on? You're not from here, buddy. I'm not. Huh? Well, you're gonna get out of my town right now. Right now? Right now. Oh yeah? Yep. Get out of For here what? right now. For you're gonna what? wait and see what happens. What's gonna happen? <laughs> you don't want to find out. This is my jurisdiction. All right, guys, it's day two out here on the farm. We came prepared this time. What's the plan for these big, long rocks we see here? So I think that one over there is gonna probably turn into some sort of a, a bench or something like that. This one here, I wanna wow. have it in the pre-filter area. Big, long, nice piece, and we'll try to get some planting and stuff in and around it. That rock is bigger than me. All right, so they're moving all of the big rocks now into the pond, so Ed's doing this one over here. This rock, probably about 700, six, 700 pounds. Yeah, this is, this is sandstone, so it's not really heavy. Ed, what's Joe about to do? Joe is about to do some of the foaming work. So this is an important component because if you don't foam it properly, the water's gonna go through all the gravel instead of going over this log right here. Critical stuff. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Born for this. So you're gonna put a bed of foam down all underneath on top of the gravel, and we're gonna put this right back on top of it. Do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? <laughs> no comment. Do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? I think you killed her husband. I did. Do you think Carol Baskin killed her husband? Uh, I don't know who that is. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Who? Carol Baskin. Everybody knows the real answer. Yes. Did Carol Baskin kill her husband? Killed her husband. She did? Oh yeah. Yep. Carol Baskin killed, killed her husband, husband whacked him. him. Can't convince me that, that it didn't, didn't happen. Fed up to tires, they snack in. Carol no basket. basket. So Greg's running some water in here. We're gonna give her a nice little rinse, get all the sediment out. My favorite job. The rinsing. The rinsing. The easiest part. Where do you want your rock? I've got it. So they've been working on the entrance to the Hobbit house, basically trying to just remove, trim around the edges of the entrance and make it like a little bit more symmetrical. All right, so it's the end of day two. We didn't even realize it, but this, this pond build's going into a third day. Basically, they got a lot more like detailing work to do before we fill the pond. It's nearly done. It's gonna need a little bit more work. Hey man, day three, let's do it. Guys, it's amazing. Coming at you. Country road, take, take me home to the place. All right guys, so what they're doing now is they're filling these portions up to rinse them out, to drain them. Then they just need to finish this top part up here. So it's coming together, we're almost done. By the end of today, we should be able to fill this whole thing up. We actually are almost there. I'm kind of shaping out this next waterfall. The challenge is normally you have the freedom to manipulate this dirt however we want. But if you can see this right here, that's some like hobbit roof. You know who I feel sorry for, guys? Elon Musk's baby. What is it? AX at double ash, whatever. I feel sorry for that baby. The bottom portion is filled with water. Now we're just waiting for Ed, Brian up there to finish up. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, 
Ed, you've been working on this with your family for the last seven days. We've been building the rest of the pond for the last three days, and we are now finally at the point where we can let her run. Absolutely, the sun is just about down. We just filled it up with water. We filled it up a little bit high because when we turn the pumps on, it's gonna draw all that water down. I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. It's good. So this has been a three day build and uh, if you're interested in seeing more builds like this, where do people need to go to find you Ed? Check out Ed the Pond Professor. I'll put the link to his channel in my description below. I'm going to be coming back in about maybe a couple weeks once all of the landscaping and everything is completely done to give nice. these people the yep. before we gotta, and after. We got to do a, we got to grade everything out, we got to put in a fire pit, bring in landscaping, it's going to look phenomenal. Well it's been real, thank you. Alright. Joe? I love my job. This came out so incredible. If you guys are interested, like I said, make sure to go check out Greg's channel and Ed's channel. I'll put the link down below. Team Aquascape, per usual, absolutely killed this build. Hopefully they can come over sometime this summer and upgrade, make my pond a little bigger. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more pond videos like this and like the video down below. Let me know what you thought about this pond. Joe, what do they need to do? Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, George out. me don't you ever touch me like that don't forget to like and subscribe joe out